So this tiny little gem is Celestron Travel Scope and it is a wide field scope. It is not for uh, necessarily for planets. You can still see uh, craters of the moon, but planets will be very small. But in terms of um, taking pictures or watching the deep space objects like Andromeda Galaxy, or if you wanted to see Orion Nebula, I think this is uh, a beautiful scope. It's a beginner telescope. I got this morning, I unboxed it and I put it together. You know how much I don't like the unboxing videos. But here is the Celestron travel scope. Let's open it. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Pretty cool graphics. So this has a 40x magnification. It's pretty compact. I saw people using this one. I never used it myself. I'm opening the box myself right now. It says um, on the product spec right here, it says it's a 70 mm aperture and 400 mm focal length and it's f5.7 so it's pretty pretty fast so this is like 90 dollars or something on amazon also i put a link there to buy uh, so Beautiful box. I really love it. Oh. So there is a backpack. It's pretty neat. I love the backpack. They have some manuals and CDs. Pretty lightweight. I guess this is the scope. This is a tripod, pretty lightweight. And I believe these are the eyepieces. All right, let's uh, put together. It's a pretty nifty packing. They said uh, don't watch sun using this telescope. So never point your telescope towards sun, not good. So it has uh, something to bolt on, something to move. I believe this is the focus for the telescope. Pretty neat, it moves pretty smooth. Made it tight. So that's what that is. And this is the mount, the tripod, everything. Oh, it's pretty small. So we can actually make it bigger, I guess. So it moves in the alt as altitude and azimuth direction, right?
so they have a 10 mm eyepiece this is a 20 mm eyepiece oh cool so they have a small finder scope so this finder scope is pretty good if you so this is pretty cool this is called finder scope you have to co-align finder scope to the telescope so when you go out take the telescope see something in the telescope like a telephone pole and adjust these knobs slightly so that you are seeing telephone pole as well here right so you see things first here and then you go and adjust this to see the same telephone pole right all right so it's a new, nice nice looking one so let's take this off the cap here so now you can open this one there you go all right so allow me to extend all the way yeah this is pretty neat wow So there you go. Now the telescope is seeing the first light. So if you are interested in watching pictures, if you are interested in uh, viewing, uh, you can definitely put a diagonal inside and it does come with two eyepieces. It comes with, uh, I think one of them is like 20 mm, the other one is like 10 mm and both these eyepieces give you beautiful views of planets as well they are going to be a little further away but you can still see the rings of saturn and the jupiter or the moons also you can see the craters of the moon but if you point this telescope towards any deep space objects like pleiades you know the seven sisters it comes like right here once it gets dark i think you can use a dslr camera in the back so so you can get a nose piece for your dslr camera and also you can get one of these adapters here the ones that is i'll put links for these two i also put a very cheap zwo ir uv cut filter okay so if you are interested in taking pictures i think uh, if you already have a dslr uh, get one of these rings that converts that into like a t2 adapter which is called and put a nose piece and um, uh, get this uh, ir uv cut filter and if you do uh, this one usually goes here and you take and you actually put your eyepieces there to see but if you are interested in taking pictures, then you can actually put this directly into the back of the telescope and you can close it off. Make sure it is tight because it's going to be a little bit heavier for this tiny telescope. So make sure you are not going to make your uh, camera fall on the floor. So I put a, an adapter for the power so that the cell phone battery won't, I mean the camera battery won't run out. And I did put a cable to go to my computer. I pointed the telescope to the north. If you are looking at the back of this telescope right here, and if you unscrew this one, it goes up and down. Let me show you what I mean. So it moves like this, right? So this is the altitude axis and also it has the azimuth so if you move it moves this way right and um, make sure they are tight all the time uh, otherwise you might lose your dslr all right so let me connect so these are the two and also i this is the finder scope 
So I looked at a telephone pole using my main scope and I put an eyepiece. When I'm looking at the telephone pole with my main telescope, I saw the telephone pole here as well. I made slight adjustments to make sure they both are co-aligned. So in the night time, when I look at the moon using my finder scope because it has a wider field of view, the same moon is going to come up in the main telescope. I'll show you guys that one. Oh, you see that? I didn't even use the finder scope, I'm just using. So when you do this, move it up a little bit because this is going to bring the weight is going to bring it bring the telescope down okay so you see that all right so it's not a tracking mount so the moon will go away i need to make sure that i have a good focus on that one mm -hmm.